Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are busting some of the biggest myths about Linux that you probably heard before and some you might still believe. Is Linux really virus proof? Is it just for tech geeks? Or what about the gaming on Linux? Stick around as we separate facts from fiction. Alright, let's dive right in. Myth number one. Linux is the operating system. You probably heard people say I use Linux, but did you know Linux itself is not actually an operating system? Linux is just a kernel, the core part of core part of the system that manages hardware and software communication. The actual operating system are called Linux distributions or distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch. So next time someone says they use Linux, they are really using a distro built on the Linux kernel. Now move on to Linux myth number two. Linux is virus free. Now, is Linux completely Im immune to viruses? No, but it is more secure by design. Linux uses strong user permissions, process isolations, and the principle of least privilege, making it harder for malware to spread. But security flaws do exist. So the key takeaway, no system is 100% secure, but Linux has a solid defense. Myth number three, Linux is not for regular desktop users. People think Linux is just for developers, hackers or IT professionals. But in reality, modern Linux distros like Ubuntu, Linux Mint and Fedora offers a smooth user friendly experience. If you can browse the web, write documents and watch YouTube videos on Windows, you can do it too on Win Linux too. Plus, it is great for reviving old computers. Myth number four. Linux has a difficult learning curve. Yes, Linux has a terminal. No, you don't have to use it for the basic task. Many distros comes with graphical user interface that are just as intuitive as Windows and Mac OS. Sure, if you want to become a Linux power user, there's more to learn. But for everyday use, it is as easy as any other OS. Myth number five, Linux doesn't have a lot of software. Most of the distros have software repositories with thousands of apps. You need an office alternative? Use LibreOffice. On want to edit images, try GIMP or Inkscape. Sure, some major softwares like Adobe Photoshop isn't natively natively available, but alternative exist. And many Windows applications can run on Linux using softwares like Wine and Bottles. Myth number six: Linux is not viable for gaming. Yeah, Linux gaming gaming on Linux used to be rough. But thanks to Valve's Proton, Steam Deck, and tools like Wine and Lutris, gaming on Linux has exploded. Thousands of Windows games can run smoothly on Linux. You can check the Proton DB website for compatibility or compatible games on, on Linux. Plus, there are a huge collection of native Linux games and retro games emulators available. Myth number seven. Linux is only free if you don't value your time. Some say Linux is only free if you don't value your time. But let's be real. Any new OS has a learning curve. Someone may be struggling with Windows updates, restalling drivers. Linux, learning Linux takes time. But it is an investment that pays off with stability, security and customization. And with today's beginner friendly distros, getting started is easier than ever most user finds that after the initial learning phase linux actually saves time by reducing crashes slowdowns and unnecessary updates so there you have it seven linux myths busted what do you think are you ready to give a linux a try drop a comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech content. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.